Hey there, welcome back and in today's video we are gonna learn how to make Loki's portal effect that was from uh, the Loki TV series and I had a lot of fun in creating this so I hope that you guys enjoy it. So yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, so let's start with modeling our portal first but before that let's quickly go ahead and delete our camera and the light and let's click on our default cube i guess this is good enough to create that portal so i'm first gonna go ahead and scale it on z-axis so do an sz and then go ahead and scale it on y-axis and just make it a little bit more flatter let's just scale it on x-axis as well a little bit just to make it nice door looking shape right so once we have that i'm gonna go ahead and move it on the z-axis just to make sure that it's sitting right above uh, the access point okay and i guess that's about it uh, as far as the modeling goes and now let's quickly go ahead and hop into a shading tab where we are actually going to create those textures for our portal right so we'll first create the internal texture and then create that outer glow on its wireframe in case you're not seeing the material just click on new here and you'll get the same material right here so i'm just gonna delete the principal vsdf and let's add a glass vsdf here and then we'll go to the material properties here we'll change the blend mode from opaque to alpha blend and shadow mode to alpha hash and make sure the screen space refraction is enabled and also go to the render settings and just make sure the ambient inclusion bloom screen space reflections and refraction and screen space reflection is also enabled also since we are in the render settings anyway so we'll change the look in the color management to very high contrast and also ensure that in film like actually clicking on transparent so we are ready with all the possible settings that we need i'm gonna hop into the render preview mode and let's do some more change so we need a little bit more lighting in here because it's pretty dark so i'll just quickly go ahead and add an hdri okay now that we have the hdri in our scene let's first make the color somewhat similar to what it was in the series and i'm gonna increase the roughness to about 0.3 i think that works well and let's increase or change the IRO to 1.1 then i'm gonna go ahead and add a mix shader in here and put it right between the material output and the glass psdf and make sure that the glass psdf is plugged into the bottom socket of the mix shader right and then we'll go ahead and add an emission shader in, in here and plug it into the top socket of our uh, mix shader now let's add a color ramp to our scene take the color ram and plug it into the factor of the mix shader now the next thing we'll add here is a gradient texture and let's do a control t just to make sure that we have the mapping node and the texture coordinate node added to our scene uh, if you're not getting these options just make sure that you are enabling the node wrangler add-on in your blender and you should be able to work with these shortcuts as well that i'm going to use now so now that we have the gradient texture i'm going to click on control then shift and then click on the gradient texture and as soon as i do that it adds a viewer node to the gradient texture just to tell us what effect it's gonna do so why do we need this we we are actually going to use this gradient texture as a mask to create a really cool effect in our portal so i'm gonna go ahead and change the linear in the gradient texture to quadratic sphere now you can see that there is a circle that's showing up at the center of our portal right so let's mess with these scale values in here of the mapping node we want to make sure that this circle is touching each edges of the portal and i'll let you know later on why so let's mess with the x value a little bit and just make sure that it's somewhat closer to the edge so i think this looks pretty cool so 0 0.6 works for me and then for the z value let's quickly go ahead and increase it i think this works well right so we'll settle on 0 0.28 so a gradient texture is ready but now we don't want the white to be inside because wherever it's white is where the effect's gonna be applied. So let's go ahead and flip that effect. So I'm gonna add an invert node in here and put it right after the gradient node. Let's add a mix RGB node after this and plug it right after that. And let's also add a noise texture. And we're gonna take the factor of the noise texture and plug it into the bottom socket of our mix RGB node. Now change the mix option from mix to multiply. And as soon as I do that, it start giving us a slight effect of what we need now we're going to take this output of the mix rgb node and plug it into our color ramp and 
let's go ahead and plug our mix shader back into the material out now as soon as i do that it's still looking a little bit weird and that's because we need to make some changes into our color ramp so what i'm gonna do is i'll first go ahead and flip my color ramp just to make sure that my blank areas are in the center and uh, it's glowing at the edges and then change the option from linear to b spline just to get a more smoother fall off here and let's move wide closer to the black portion in here and what it's gonna do basically is gonna go ahead and create that foggy effect on our portal which just looks really amazing so let's increase the emission strength to about five and let's go ahead and change the color to match the portal I think this looks pretty cool and let's sorry i forgot this just make sure that the mix rgb's factor is all the way up to one let's go ahead and play with it a little bit just to make sure that we are getting our desired effect let's reduce the scale of the noise texture to 0 0.8 because it's just going to give it a little bit more of that foggy effect good sci-fi fog instead of just looking weird so that's that's the reason why we are doing that right let's increase the details all the way up to 16 and we are going to increase the roughness to 0.8 now i think it looks perfect here sorry scale down to 0.8 as well yeah this looks perfect can you if you can see the center is transparent whereas the edges are glowing now right so you can just play with this value of your color ram just to suit your satisfaction and once you're satisfied with it now we're gonna go ahead and move on to adding the wireframe right so for that we're gonna go ahead and click on add modifier and wireframe and and just make sure that replace original is unchecked and as soon as you do that in this material offset of your uh, wireframe just change it to one okay and once you do that you go back to the material properties click on this plus sign here to add another texture and now this texture is only going to affect our wireframe i'm going to click on new again and now let's go ahead and create our texture for our wireframes so for that i'm gonna add a uh, emission shader in here and then add a mix shader as well just plug it right between the material output and the emission shader and the next thing that we're gonna add is a transparent bsdf we're gonna take the transparent bsdf and plug it into the bottom socket of our uh, mix shader the next thing that we'll do is we'll go ahead and add a color ramp in here and we'll take this color output and plug it into the factor of our mix shader. also make sure that in your material settings you are going ahead and changing it to alpha blend and alpha hash and this enables green space refractions it's gonna be useful i'll just show you in a second then we'll go ahead and add a noise texture and take the factor of the noise texture and add it to the factor of our color ramp and then let's press a control t in here and take the out object and plug it into the vector of a mapping node now we'll change the strength of our emission to five and just make sure that we are changing the color to match the portal's color and let's also increase the thickness of our wireframe a little bit so that we can actually see these borders we will flip color ramp and once we do that let's bring this white closer to the black side and can you see it's already giving you that effect the edge is not that sharp now it's it's giving you a disappearing effect which is going to look really cool because like it, it just adds to the realism right because it looks a little bit more natural here let's also play with uh, the noise texture a little bit so i'm going to change the scale to 0 0.6 detail all the way up to 16 and roughness let's also increase it to 0 0.8 yeah you can just play with this as you want all right so now that we have the portal ready let's quickly go ahead and create that animation where it shows the portal getting open right for that we are gonna go ahead and move to frame one of our timeline i'll just make sure that my animation is 100 frames long and uh, yeah on the frame one i'm gonna go to object properties click on scale and just change the value of scale to zero and add keyframes now let's come to frame number 10 and over here i'm gonna add the value for y axis as one and z axis as one and then add keyframes again now let's go to frame 15 and here we'll make sure that all the values are one once we are done adding these keyframes if i go back to frame number one now if i play it you see it's creating that effect that the portal is opening that's how you create it uh, again you can make different animations with this just by animating different values right? like for example instead of y and z axis if i go ahead and animate x and y axis it's going to give me a different animation altogether like for example 
options to get there. You can just go ahead and settle on the one that you feel more comfortable with. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the one that opens from the center. So we'll keep Z axis as at one and X at zero. Now let's go to frame number 90 and we're gonna repeat the same process, right? So let's start with frame 85 and let's add keyframes here. Go to frame 90 and make sure that X axis is zero and let's add keyframes. Let's go to frame 95 and let's make sure everything's set to zero. Now, if I go back and play the entire animation, this is how it reads. So as you can see that it's it's automatically going ahead and vanishing into nothing by just playing through the same animation. So now that we are done with this, now let's create the effect where it makes the object disappear as soon as it passes through the portal. So for that, I'm gonna first add a plane so that the object or my character has a place to walk through. So let's go ahead and add the plane and do S20. I think this should be good enough and do a control A and a phi scale. Now let's add our character in our scene. For that, I'm gonna click on file, click on import, and I'll go to .dae. And if you guys don't know how to download a character, I've downloaded this character from mixamo.com. I'll have a separate video where you guys can just look at the process all together and uh, just understand how to go ahead and download this. But in this one, I'm just gonna go to the folder where I've downloaded it and just import the character character and as soon as I do that can you see the character is already showing up let's scale it up a bit and uh, let's move it on y-axis and I'm gonna rotate it on the z-axis by 180 degrees so that it, it is directly facing the port it's all black and that's because it's not reading through the textures properly so I'm just gonna click on the character once again and go to my material properties and just X out of the material that is currently in there right and let's add a new material for it the textures come with the character when you download it so to import that i'm gonna click on Control shift key and as soon as i do that a dialog box appears so i'm gonna go ahead and locate uh, the textures for uh, this character all right once you reach the texture folder select all the textures that are in there and click on principal texture setup as soon as you do that it automatically goes ahead and creates a setup for you with all the possible textures that you and since the character is already uv mapped so it will automatically go ahead and align pictures as to how it's supposed now whenever you download a character from mixamo you can also download an animation with it i have downloaded a simple walking animation so if i play it now can you see the characters walking through so it's walking through the portal right now and that's what i want but just walking way past it so let's go ahead and move it back a little bit now always remember that whenever you're working with a character you're always manipulating the armature and not the character the character is linked to the armature so i'm just gonna bring it back a little bit so that it, the animation ends right after it passes through now again the character is passing through it but it's not disappearing and that's where the magic comes in right so for that i'm gonna go ahead and add a cube in my scene let's scale up the cube and just make sure sure that the cube is touching our portal which will ensure that when the ca character passes through it starts disappearing as soon as it's passed through half of the object so now once we have added this click on my cube right click and subdivide it and add a few subdivisions let's say we're gonna go with 15 so that it has enough mesh to warp through once it passes through it once we are done with that, second thing I'm gonna do is go to the shading tab, add a new texture for my cube, delete the principal BSDF and add a transparent BSDF in here. And let's plug it into the surface of our material output and just make sure that uh, the blend mode is set to alpha blend and shadow mode is set to alpha hashed and screen space the refractions are enabled and as soon as we do that now you can see that the cube is no longer showing up okay so i'm going to click on my character click on add modifier click on boolean modifier and then go ahead and select the transparent cube that i just created and now if i go ahead and pass my object through it it will just disappear as soon as it passes through the code but can you see that that weird black flickering is happening and that is because we have not clicked on hold tolerant right so click on solver option and click on hold tolerant and as soon as we do that now when the object or the character passes through the portal it will automatically go ahead and disappear as soon as it passes through so this is how you create that effect now i'm just going to quickly go ahead and create background just so that it looks a little bit better so I'm I think 
our scene is pretty much ready so uh what we gotta do now is just quickly go ahead and select a good view for our camera and in order to do that all you need to do is add a camera and choose the view that you think is gonna make sense and just click on Control alt and zero on your number pad and as soon as you do that it just goes ahead and snaps your camera so i think this looks good and one last thing that i can tell you is that you can animate your portal a little bit further where while just clicking on uh, your texture going to your noise texture and changing it from 3d to 4d and just animating this w value here right so what i could do is i could just simply go to frame one come back my shading tab and for this w value i'll do a right click and insert key frame let me just quickly bring in my timeline here so that we don't have to switch okay and uh, let's go to frame 50 since it's a 100 frame animation i'm just gonna go ahead and change the value to about 0 0.8 i think that should be enough and let's go to frame 101 and let's go back to zero and right click insert key now what it's gonna do is that when our portal opens up it will automatically go ahead and animate our noise texture in there and that animation is just going to go ahead and give it a little bit more realism right and again this is totally optional and you can choose not to do that it just gives it a little bit more realism to your scene but i guess that's about it for the video that's how you go ahead and create loki's portal i believe this video was helpful and you guys liked it and if you did don't forget to like share subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video